Okay, you can see by the star I got the best of Tawny, but you know what? The world champ keeps ducking me. It ends today, Vichy. Today, you have to accept my challenge. Okay, here we go. This is honestly my first time ever playing Vichy in any chess game of any kind. We've talked chess before, but we've never played. There we go. So you're feeling lucky today. Oh, he's already talking. I am feeling lucky, Vichy. Okay, here we go. I'm going to take the white pieces because so I need some help. Lucky today, uh, yeah? I do, I do. Oh, I love that animation. E4. That's what I play. Well, you don't always play it, but yeah, I played it today. Okay, the Siciliano. Going to play my favorite Alapin. Okay, got the sound on for this one because we don't get to hear from Vichy enough. Now, D5 is one of the main lines because when I take and the queen the takes... First casualty of our battle today. <laughs> my knight can't go to c3 when the queen takes back, okay? Now in this position, I can still play the move d4, and I'm going to do it if Vichy trades. Isolated pawn, but I get the attack. Okay. Are you sure you know what you're doing? I don't, that's about as close as he gets to trash talking. Uh, are you sure you know what you're doing, Vichy? When you trade, you give me an Isolani. However, my knight can go to c3 with tempo. Chess makes you smart. I sure hope so. That's what we tell all the kids on all the educators. Okay, now E5 is a line that I'm familiar with. So luckily, Mr. Vichy, whoever programmed you, maybe that was me, uh, I programmed this into your opening book. No, no, no. Actually, we had some other developers do that. Okay, so Knight C3 attacking the Queen. What's the matter? Uh, what's the matter? No, nothing. I bet you can't see what I'm planning. Well, I can. You're pinning my Knight so I can't take your Queen. Because if I try to take your Queen, yeah, computer won't let me. But I'm going to unpin my knight and resume the threat on your queen, Mr. Vichy. Okay, take back. Now your pawn on e5 is in danger. Push is what you're going to do, I guarantee it. Oh, wait. Uh, 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 Mr. Vichy. Okay, the only move I ever know in this position, um, we can actually go back here, is if you push, then my knight was going to go to the square e5. Okay. And when the knights trade and my pawn takes, the main line is knight e7. If you can see that far ahead, congratulations. I actually have a secret move in that position, but I'm not going to tell you because I may have to play Vichy again. And, you know, I think my videos play in the Anand household because his son uses me. So uh, I need to keep my secrets safe in case I play Vichy again, either the real one or the digital one. Okay, let's go back. Now, Vichy did not guard his pawn. Is he tricking me? Uh, survey says no. Let's take, let's take this pawn. Oh, wait. Now, do I trade knights or not? Hmm. I actually think I might want to trade knights because... You know what? Let's not trade knights. Let's play pawn takes. I was thinking if I do take back with the knight, Vichy's not required to take my knight. Although I would have been able to play bishop c4. Okay, now I'm already kind of wishing I had played knight takes e5. But it's still a free pawn. I'm still pretty happy. And I'm just going to go here. You're not threatening my e5 pawn enough times. Okay, castles. I think I'll copy you there. Feeling pretty good. Okay, now which rook? I'm sorry I have to take you away. It's not personal. <laughs> He's so polite. So polite. Okay. We could not take the normal effervescence out of the man. Okay, well, actually here, it's pretty easy. If I take with the a rook, I might drop my a pawn. And uh, there's no way to trap his bishop. So I'll take with this rook. Uh, it is something you said. I really like the, uh, the the way he's speaking here. Okay, now if you take my bishop, I lose the bishop pair, and you weaken my e5 pawn. Um, wow, that is pretty annoying. I think this is one of those times where I have to go backward. I think preserving the bishop here is that important to me. Let's go back. Now, if you play knight f4, I'm going to go back to f1. Oh my goodness, you did it! And... I think I'm going all the way back. Look at your one knight dominate my two bishops. That's why you're a five-time world champion. But I have an extra pawn. Okay, yeah, you're getting actually, you're getting kind of annoying, Vichy. <laughs> annoying in all the good ways. Um, yeah, this is becoming a problem for me. Um, what if I try to get rid of that strong knight? What's going to happen? Oh, you can play this check. I actually saw it right after... I played Bishop D. I didn't. I didn't, Vichy. I didn't. Okay, I gotta take that, otherwise you're gonna fork me. Okay, now do I have any good news? I mean, I, I totally miss a tactic against Tani, but luckily made a comeback. Now, if I play Rook here, you can play Knight D4 and threaten Knight C2. Oh man, I got the weakest dark squares in the history of chess. Are you gonna play Knight D4? I'm holding my breath. Okay, cool. 
Knight d4, I, could, I was going to play rook on a to c1 and then try to sort of hold on a little bit. Uh, okay, I'm going to go back because I want to keep your knight out of d4 or at least give myself the option to take your knight if it goes to d4. Also, what's the matter? Can't see it. Um, okay, now am I actually going to give away my bishop here? I really don't want to. Um, it will be same color bishops I'll be up a pawn but with some really bad pawn structure and I won't have access to d1. So the other option is just to move my rook. But then when you retreat your bishop, you'll be threatening knight f3. I think that's too problematic. I think I have to get rid of your knight. Are you sure you know what you're doing? No, no, I'm not sure at all. Okay. Now, do I allow your rook to invade the second rank just to be able to trade off the bishops? Um, man, that looks really problematic if I let your rook invade the second rank. But that, that's do it. I'm, a, I'm afraid of my position here. Okay, Vishy, take, take. You can't see what I'm I'll be happy with the draw. Yes, makes you smart. Um, yeah, how do I untangle here? It's pretty annoying. I did not have a good move ready for the main line. Okay, let's just play here and hold on. You might be doubling rooks. Okay, let's go here. You could spend a lifetime. Understand rook okay, yeah, you could. Okay, I'm getting some activity though. Ooh, okay, I thought you were going to play rook b2, but you were afraid of something. Okay, now I'm going to go here and guard my weak pawn on the b3 square. Okay, you're still not doubling rooks. It's really interesting. Mm, should I play f4 to support my pawn? Um, I should not break the rules of chess. What I meant was, should I be planning to get my pawn to f4? Okay, I can go here though. And get ready to play this move, right? I'm starting to untangle. Oh, I wanted you to trade. Okay, what if I... If I go here, can you play... Oh, I, I had this hallucination you could play rook takes e5. No, you cannot play rook takes e5. Okay, but I, I'm getting you to go backward. Let's go here. Chess? Totally agree. Totally agree. Chess makes you smart. Um, okay, so there. I'm going to go back again. Okay, you let me trade a set of rooks, though. Let's just go here, though. I want you to take on my terms. Okay, but now you didn't trade. That's annoying. I missed my chance to trade. Um, what if I just go here to see if you trade? You're going to be nice and trade? No, you're not. Okay, I guess maybe I have a draw. I don't know. Okay, you're getting some activity. I guess at some point I can push, but it doesn't feel right. Feels like I should keep my e5 pawn. What if I play a high class waiting move? Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. It is a check. Okay, I'll block. I'll block. Are you sure you know what you're doing? No. What I'm sure of is I don't think if I make a 30 minute YouTube video, people will watch it. That's what I'm sure of. <laughs> okay, uh, you're going to play rook d3 check. Let's go here. Now, if you just play rook back, we're getting close to draw territory. But if, let me go here. Let's just continue the game, see what happens. Let's make it the longest chess kid YouTube video chess ever. Makes you smart. Hmm. How does one prog progress in such positions? Let's try this one. Yeah, should have traded rooks when I had the chance. Hey, you know, the worst move on the board is rook here. Then you can mate me on d4. Um... I don't know. I'm just kind of moving around in circles. But you played a6, so we're not going to have a threefold repetition. Oh no! Now you can play rook f1. Oh, I totally blundered. At least I get a set of rooks off the board, right? That's something. Now you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to give you my h-pawn to get my king super active. No. You see everything. Let's go here. Okay, okay, but now here comes here comes Mr. King. I would have preferred my rook to be on e3, but it's not. Okay. Now I'm going here. Uh-oh, I'm actually starting to make a little progress. Uh, your rook's going to camp out on e6, isn't it? But I still get a pass pawn first, right? Oh, you played this move. Um, I thought you were going to play rook e6, but this is smart. If you played rook e6, I was going to play b4, b5. I think you've successfully slowed me down. 
Um, King here looks really slow. Can't see a good move. Yeah. Trash talking too. All right. Um, so, God, this looks really slow to go here. He's just going to play like f5 and his pawn is probably faster than mine. But he has a little bit of work to do. Oh, you're actually letting me play h4 here. Do I take advantage of this opportunity to play h4? Um, you actually could play rook e4 after h4. Then after we, after we trade, I've actually helped you. And if I play rook here and you trade rooks, I'm not winning the pawn race. I think I'm just much worse here. Okay. So what can I try? Hmm, I could get into a queen ending, but you'd, it'd probably be a queen and two pawns versus queen. Is that my best hope? There, there, take, take. I think I have to try this move. Are you hmm. sure you know what you're doing? I'm sure I'm losing. Uh-oh, trading is conf confidence that the computer sees a win. Okay, now when the dueling queens happen, I need to make sure my king is not on a square like this because then you can play queen f4, trade queens, and win super easy. If I play king here, you're going to have queen and two pawns versus queen, but pawn endings are very difficult to speaking of pawn endings, it's about to be a queen endgame. Okay, now do I have any hope of uh, checking you? Happen? Are you going to take the pawn or check me? Oh, you didn't check. take the pawn. Hmm, I wonder if the computer saw maybe a perpetual. My queen was going to be a little bit annoying in her checks. Of course, I can't analyze this amount of time. Okay, let's keep my king off of a square. Queen in games are the easiest end games to make a mistake. I totally agree. Yep, he's already analyzing this queen endgame. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Can I play queen e5? No. No, I, I would, I'm just losing that, right? I must be losing that. Okay, so the general rule in these types of endgames is to get your king either really close to defend or really far away so that you don't get uh, forked, basically, like tricked into a trade. Here already, if I play a queen check, queen f7 trades queens. And then there, 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 there. I have to assume that's losing. It feels very losing. Okay, so the only thing I need to do here is keep the queens on the dance floor. If I play king here, you can play queen e6 check. And then if I play king here, you would take my pawn. So I might be just losing my pawn in all variations. Unless I play a super passive move. Can I play queen all the way back? I feel like this is exactly the wrong way to play. But let's play a passive queen move. Okay, now if I go here, you can check me. But I'm getting my king back into a defensive posture here. Chess makes you smart. Okay, here if you trade queens, you lose a pawn. Okay, so you went there. Um, so I can check you here. I bet you think I'm shaking in my boots. Mm, my queen maybe should have gone back to g2. I bet you can't see what I'm planning. Now, can I play king here and hope for the best? Ah, there's not even a single check after you take my pawn on h2, h3. Okay, I'm gonna go here. Oh man, <laughs> queen h2. Okay, okay. I, I, it, we're just gonna keep the video going because I'm still hanging around. Should have taken the draw when I had it. I totally realized that. Okay, let's go here. Oh, I hope I'm not misanalyzing. Okay. Now I want my king and queen to swap places. Can I can I do that? Queen here or queen here allows you to either trade or win queens. Actually, this could be a draw. Because, yeah, it could be a draw, but man, I don't really want to analyze that. You've almost got me in Zugsvon. If I go here, you can trade queens. If I go here, you trade queens. If I go here, you trade queens. Or I lose my queen. Uh, if I go anywhere else, take my pawn with check. Uh, <laughs> wait a minute. How could I be in Zugzvan? This is unbelievable. King h6. This is completely unbelievable. Okay, I just have to hope that if he trades queens here, it's not a losing king and pawn endgame. Oh, he didn't trade queens. Okay, maybe it wasn't losing, actually. Because because I forced him to play h4, so it may not have been losing. If I go here, I, I self-mate. Let's go here. Okay. Now, if I go here, I lose my queen. I have to let you trade queens at this point. I guess I can go here, right? Can you play queen g3? No, I can't play queen g3. I don't think you can. Oh, let's just go here. Okay. So we're going to go here. Chess makes you smart. Oh, am I going to have to play 50 moves against Vichy? 
Oh wait, okay, so Okay, so you you actually this is interesting. I'm not sure about computers, but the computer decided not to go into this King and Pawn endgame the first time, but it is the second time. Okay, now wait. I was a little bit afraid that if I go here, you could get the long opposition by playing King F6. In fact, you can. But wait a minute. Can I lose the opposition and still draw? If I go here and you play King F5 and I go here, you can't make any progress except to play G4. But then after trade, my king gets back and it's a draw. So this is actually a position where I can lose the opposition. Okay. But what are you doing? Yeah, I see, if he played King E5, I was going to play King F3. Okay, so take. I bet you think I'm shaking in my boots. Okay, okay. <laughs> king back. I think I know this one, Vichy. I think I know this one. Wow. Wow. Chess makes you smart. Okay, Vichy, it's time to give it up. Even a lowly Fide Master can figure this one out. It's going to be a draw eventually. I can't even mess this up. It's impossible to mess this up. Chess makes you smart. Oh no, it just occurred to me. Did we program threefold repetition? This is our test server. We did. Good job, good job. I didn't expect, I didn't expect draw me, draw me. Are you up for another game? Another game? <laughs> okay, we had a little bit. I don't get fireworks. We had a little bit of a double speak there. That's why it's our test server. But uh, thank you for staying with me. And uh, I'm pretty sure in real life that Vichy would have found a way to win that. But our computer doesn't like to have the student sitting there forever. So a win against Tani, a draw against Vichy. I think it's time to retire. No, just kidding, chess kids. By getting back in the arena and playing more, that's how even an old man gets better. Do you think you have what it takes to beat a five-time world champion? I don't. I was able to make a draw, but I wasn't able to beat him. Log in soon to chesskid.com. If we don't already have Vichy on our live server, we will have it there soon. And uh, what can I say? Vichy, stop ducking my challenges in real life, okay? Okay, Vichy. So you're feeling lucky today, are you?